Thanks for helping me, Strawberry. Double the dresses is double the work. But dressing twins is so much fun. I can see it now. Little matching hats, twirly matching skirts. Yeah, no. I don't really do matching. Well, a girl can dream. Yes, this is so me. This is the one I want. Oh, this is it. Orange, I would love, love, love it if you could make me this dress. What do you think, Strobs? Up for a double dress challenge? You know it, Orange. I've always got your back. <laughs> <laughs> You know I hate it when people gush. But this dress is perfect. And you are a fashion uh, genius. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. I mean, you nailed it. Not everyone really gets my style, you know? It's just a little out there. I mean, I'm sure Sweet Grape's dress is totally different. Strawberry, <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's the same dress. That's awesome! Seriously? I can't believe this. Oh no, she seems really upset. I thought she changed her mind and wanted to surprise me. Looks like she's the one who got the surprise. It was just a coincidence. I'm sure she'll understand. I'll go talk to her. Sour grapes? Are you okay? Not even a little. I really wanted that dress. Now everything is ruined. You know it was just an accident that you picked the same dress, right? Just a weird twin brain thing. That's just it. It's not fair. I'm always getting grouped in with sweet grapes because we're twins. I want to be different, special. But you are special, and it's not because of your clothes. I just... I try so hard to do the opposite of what she does. But every time, we just end up being the same again. But isn't being yourself more important than being different from Sweet Grapes? By trying so hard to be different from her, you're actually basing your whole identity off your sister. Whoa. Like, if you didn't let yourself have fun because you wanted to be different, you're only hurting yourself. I never thought of it that way before. Maybe I don't have to work so hard at being different and I can just be... me. <laughs> Who wouldn't love that? And I get to wear this awesome dress after all. It would be an absolute fashion crime not to. <laughs> Thanks, Strawberry. What do you say we go find some sneakers or combat boots or something to go with this dress? Something very me. <laughs> <laughs> Incoming! Whoa! Oh. <sighs> hey, Orange! Are you planning to release a new single or something? Because you've got a lot of fans! Huh? Huh? You know, because they're fans. And singers have fans, and I can see you're not feeling this. Oh, sorry, Strawberry. Just a bit discouraged. There's supposed to be a heat wave, of nothing but sunshine for weeks. Now I can't return the fans, and they're taking up all this space. Oh, what am I gonna do? I know what you should do. Raisin King? When did you get here? I didn't even hear you come in. I know. No one ever does. That's how I overhear all of the best stuff. Orange, you have a classic problem. Too much supply, no demand. Which is no problem for a marketing genius like myself. 
Well, you have my number. Call me when you're ready to change your life. I like your life like it is. She is really good at promoting things, Strawberry. She's good at promoting herself. Everything Raisin does benefits Raisin. Did she even buy anything? I know Raisin is selfish sometimes, but if her ideas benefit both of us, how bad could it be? Hello? Raisin? You said we should meet here. Uh, welcome to your infomercial! Is that what you're wearing? Uh, infomercial? Just sit right here and look at the camera. Talk about the fans, but not too much about the fans. Don't be boring. Have a conversation. Uh... And action! This, uh, great fan <laughs> makes you cool. Uh, makes you feel cool, I mean. You're already cool. <laughs> the other kind of cool, I mean. So, um, stop by the Orange Mart in the rain. Cut! Okay, that was terrible. We're going to have to kick this up a notch. I have a ton of ideas. Let's start with the ice sculptures. <laughs> this is amazing! Look at the snow fly! And is that whole thing your hair? That's a lot of fruit. I know, I thought the pony caravan would be a little over the top, but look at all the hearts we're getting on Raisin's berry book page. She certainly has added a lot of followers to her page. So, um, when do you bring up the fans? I'm glad you asked, Strawberry. Again? How does she do that? No one wants to hear about boring old fans that would never go viral. I think we can do some amazing work with chicken soup scuba diving next. That does sound fun, but Strawberry's right. Shouldn't I have seen more people here? Here? Why would... Oh, right. Just gotta trust me and give it time. Now, let's talk about the next 10 videos. Actually, Raisin, I think it's time I stopped adding to your fans and started selling some of my own. Fine, but don't come crying to me when no one wants to watch your boring old video. What if she's right, Strawberry? What if no one wants to watch? Don't worry, Orange. I think I know just the thing. Thanks, Orange. Can't wait to try this. We're going to have the best sleepover ever. Phew, that's the last of them. Thank goodness. Gotta hand it to you, Strawberry. The idea to create a rainy day tutorial for a do-it-yourself wind tunnel using those fans was absolutely inspired. Well, it was your idea to add the glitter bombs that really made it go off the charts, Orange. It looked amazing. It was pretty incredible. Though, I think my next tutorial is gonna have to be how to clean glitter out of places it shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> Check out Raisin Cane's review of the Chow House in Carob County. It's dripping with sass. Wow, this is rough. She says their gravy is so gritty it's like eating grit that's been dipped in grit. That's just mean. Well, she must know what she's talking about. She's got like a bajillion followers on here. Hi, Strawberry. Hey, Orange. I thought we could go over the menu for your reunion. Oh, yeah. About that, um, I kind of got this amazing offer from another caterer. Oh, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have assumed. No, you <gasps> really shouldn't have. Raisin Kane? How does she? Amazing to see me, I know. My fans say it all the time. I just did Orange here a favor by telling her about the extras she can get if she goes to Pie Man's Pie Shop. Check out the website. Raisin offered me some huge perks. That's impressive, but isn't Pie Man the same guy that cheated when we were in the Berrykin Bake Off? Who can really judge what is or isn't cheating these days? Well, the Bake Off judges were a good start. Look, I know you're worried, but someday when you're a bigger operation, you might be able to compete. I really haven't made up my mind yet, Strawberry. Oh, this is so hard. What if 
we had a taste test? Even better! We'll put it out to the online fans to decide. We'll put both menus up on our Berry Book pages, and the one with the most votes wins. You're on. Our followers will make you eat those words. But, Sour, how can a bunch of online voters even tell what good food is? Trust me, Strawberry. The internet never lies. Oh. Look at these comments! Rizin is the cutest, and her menu rules forever. They're not even looking at the menus. We're using vowels. Internet, how could you betray me like this? You do understand the internet isn't a person, right? That's the last vote. I'm so sorry, Strawberry. If it's any consolation, your food swept the competition for tastiest looking. It's okay, Orange. I agreed to a fair vote. Congratu- Whoa! Orange, my dear. I can't wait to get started. Now, how many are on the guest list? Just 200 of my closest relatives. <laughs> how many? And we're all really looking forward to the personalized goodie bags. The what? Now? In a nine-foot cream puff centerpiece? I mean, how do you even do that? I can't do any of this stuff. Throwing it in, sweeten the offer. You have to say whatever it takes to seal the deal. I wanted to cake on a small event, not make goodie bags for 200 people. This is why you need me, perps. You clearly know nothing about self-promotion. Maybe not, but I do know a few things about self-preservation. Strawberry, you have to help me. Without you, the reunion tomorrow will be a complete disaster. But what about everything you promised Orange? I thought... Uh, well, it seems Raisin may have overpromised. Ever so slightly. And I just can't bear to show up without enough food and see all of those disappointed faces. We don't want to let dear Orange down now, do we? <sighs> A hundred eighty, a hundred ninety, two hundred! All here! I think we're finally ready to feed your family, Orange! Oh, I can't thank you enough! It all looks amazing! I'll call everyone over. They said they were starving. Come and get it! They loved it! I'll go see who wants seconds. That was great. When's our next event, Strawberry? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ew, that last move is a doozy. Orange, the stage looks amazing! Thanks, Sweet Grapes. We've been decorating all day. This dance competition is gonna be the best we've ever had! I've been practicing my dance moves for months. This year will be my greatest performance ever! And I've been working on a secret weapon for your routine. Behold. A fog machine? Not just any fog machine. Look. Grapes, that is amazing! That rainbow fog is going to blow our competition out of the water! I've got to try this! This is so cool! It's like I'm dancing on clouds! Rainbow clouds! Wow! It's perfect for my new move, the unicorn! Oh no, unicorn down! Get strawberry quick! Oh. It's sprained all right. Sorry, sweet. I don't think you're gonna be able to walk for a few days at least. The dance! I know. I'm so sorry. 
She's been looking forward to this for the whole year. I can't believe the show will have to go on without her. There's got to be a way. Here, sweet. I brought you a berry smoothie to cheer you up. Thanks, Strawberry. You. That was so great, Orange. You looked amaze, Berries, out there. Oh, thanks, sweet. That means a lot coming from you. Oh, I feel so guilty for doing my routine when poor Sweet Grapes is... Oh, just look at her. I know. I promised the followers on my Berry Book page an exclusive video of her dance. And now I've got nothing. All because she has to keep off her ankle. Keep off her ankle. Keep off her ankle. And now it's time for the group ensemble dances. Places, everyone. Jumping juniper berries. I've got it. An invention? An ankle fixer? Almost as good. Huddle up and I'll tell you all about it. <gasps> it's very brilliant. I'll go tell the judges. Hey, isn't that the fog from my unicorn number? Yup, but it's not called the unicorn anymore. Now it's called the flamingo. What? Just go with it. Time for the grand finale. Everybody, Flamingo! That was brilliant! How did you ever come up with the idea? Let's just say a little birdie inspired me. <laughs> <laughs> Gloomy night. Sure, I'm glad we're safe in here where it's warm, Sour Grapes. I know what you mean. Though this book of scary stories is more chilling than the chilliest of storms. Look, I'm totally getting goosebumps. Ooh, I couldn't read something like that on a night like this. Too spooky. Eh, doesn't bother me at all. I've always been hard to spook like that. Oh, yeah, you're steady as a rock. <gasps> Never mind me. What was that? Okay, I'm gonna give you that one. I can't look. Oh, thank goodness. It's sweet grapes. Hi, Strawberry. Just came to check in on you guys when I saw the power go out. Oh, sweet grapes, we've got bigger problems! The bookstore is haunted! It's what now? I see your point! Ah, we're next, but I have so much to live for! That's just a promo poster for a new book, sweet grapes. Since when do ghosts know graphic design? I guess I got carried away. You guys, I just thought of something. Have you seen Orange anywhere? She was here this afternoon, but I haven't Aww. seen her in a while. Do you think the... Don't say it. Don't say it. Ghost got her? Oh, you said it. It's up to us to warn her. Huddle up, team. We're going in. came from that pile of books. Piles of books are not supposed to make uh, noises, Strawberry. Wait, is that a... No, Strawberry, leave the books. We can buy all new ones and leave these for the ghost. <laughs> Guys, I think I found our ghost. <laughs> Orange, you scared us with your horrible snoring. I'm so sorry.
sorry, you guys. I've had the worst cold, and I'm afraid my sleep is all kinds of loud. I didn't mean to frighten anyone. Frightened? Nah, come on. It would take more than a couple snores to frighten me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs>